How's it going guys? John and Neeson here. Got a fun video for you guys today. So, if you were somebody living in the country and your mailbox was a standalone mailbox, meaning it was just standing in the middle of empty space, or if you were blind and the only way you knew where your house was and your neighborhood was by the big tree that you kept running into, at the bottom of your driveway or maybe you work in a big office building and you need to take the elevator but you can never find it what if you could teach your dog to find it for you what if you could teach your dog to target something forward yep how cool would that be very cool so today, I'm going to show you guys how I teach my guide dog to target. A very, very handy skill. Very, very, very handy skill. Now, halt. About 20 meters back, maybe 30 come, there is a car parked on the right hand side of the road. We walked right past it. I aimed my camera at it so I could show you guys, so I could be transparent and show you guys that I have not targeted Neeson to find this car. I'm now going to show you how I would teach him, Neeson forward, to target this car. And hopefully the car's owner won't get mad at me for doing this so I'm just I'm just backtracking forward good boy forward I'm showing again so I'm showing you guys the car again. There's actually two cars here. Why don't we target the, this, I believe this is either a tree or a pole. This is a pole. Why don't we do this instead of someone's actual property? So I'm gonna show you guys how to target Neeson to find this pole. And I'm gonna do that using this this for those of you who cannot see is a clicker a little piece of plastic that has a hinged uh, piece of plastic inside that when you push down makes a very distinct clicking sound so the clicker sit the clicker to my best of my knowledge was first created the idea behind the clicker method of training was created by animal trainers working with large animals, large mammals, dolphins, whales, uh, animals that they were unable to manually manipulate because of their size. Elephants would be another great example. The premise is when the animal hears it, it, it is a sign of positive reinforcement. So when paired with food, praise, it is a very valuable training tool. So um, to get the dog to associate the clicker with food, which is the, the highest form of motivation with these guys, you simply do what's called loading the dog. So loading the dog, Neeson's gonna be like, it's Christmas early, Dad. Basically, you click, reward, click, reward, click, reward. So over time, the dog gets used to the click and the reward. Okay, I'm not gonna give Neeson all my treats because I wanna show you guys how I teach this. So that's the abbreviated version of how to load the dog. Um, and um, I'm gonna move on to actually to keep this video relatively short 
keep you guys watching. I'm gonna show you guys how to, to target terrain. Nice and sit. So I'm gonna start this from the understanding that your dog knows what the clicker is and how it works. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so the pole is right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load Neeson on the pole. So my fist with the treat inside goes on the pole. As soon as he touches it, you click him and you treat him. You can see he's already at the pole. I'm gonna do it one more time. Christmas time in June for Neeson. So now I'm just gonna back him up a couple of steps, a little bit. And I'm gonna reach out, touch the pole. As soon as he touches my fist, back up. I'm just gonna break up another treat here because he's running through my supply. So if I was, say, I could train Neeson. See, he's already trying to guess when I'm gonna, no, Neeson come. So he's showing initiative, which is great actually. Like I, I'm okay with that. If I was, I could train Neeson to do this for an empty bus seat on a bus, or um, if I was in a conference room and I was looking for an empty chair, he could train this. So he's very into this. He knows exactly, Neeson come, show me. Okay, I'm gonna skip five or six steps ahead of this just for the sake of the video, keeping it sh short. I'm going to back Neeson up. Neeson forward. Hold. Heel. And we will see if Neeson will target. So for my blind viewers, the pole is up on my left-hand side, probably 15 feet up. Show me. right to the pole so we'll back up a bit more come here <laughs> you like this game come here come here no <laughs> come let's go forward he wants to turn around already forward no hop up hop up hold heel turn around so for my blind viewers we're now probably i don't know 30, 40 feet back from the pole. We'll see if he'll find it. Neeson, show me, hop up. Yep, good, forward. Show me, good boy, forward. What's this? Good boy, Neeson. So there you go, guys. There's a quick and dirty clicker demonstration for you. Cheers.